everybody welcome back to the crystallina perspective so in today's video i will be planning in my pretty planner coat planner um last week i did not show what i planned in this planner because i did it on one of my life coaching calls and this was the spread that i came up with last week as y'all can see ain't too much filled out because like i told y'all it ain't a lot going on for me in the planning streets. Um, I'm not going to say that's so unfortunate. It's just at this period in my life, I'm not doing a whole bunch of things. You know, I'm going to work. I'm coming home. I'm not really involved in like my sorority and stuff like that. Not any shade to my sorority. It's just that I mentally took a break last year. And so I'm still taking a break from things. And when I want to welcome those things back, I will. But for now, there isn't a whole lot of things that I'm planning, which brings me to the point of I'm really considering this week. I think I'm going to try to plan like social media content and stuff like that all in this particular spread um, so I can make the most utilization of my inserts. Now, y'all, your girl got 50 million journals, planners stickers all the things and i feel the pressure to use all the things but i'm also appreciating that in this season i'm okay with using one planner so i do have this one planner that i use i do have a finance planner that i use that's really it um i did say that i was gonna start using um this villa beautiful clutch situation for just journaling I had already kind of decorated it because I my thought process with this was that I was going to use it for work, but I didn't want to have to like commit to all the things. And I got the Pretty Planner Co. Spiral for work that I love, but I still take this planner with me to work. So anyway, y'all, that's neither here nor there. Um, big goals for this week for me is to go ahead. We're in month two of the year and I still have not finalized my goals for the year. So that is something your girl has to do and honestly find some joy. I definitely want to get a massage this week. I want to do like some self-care things because self-care was one of my core goals. Self-care and gratitude. Real quick before we get into the plan with me, I wanted to show you guys how I am tracking a few things. I am using these biohacking tracker inserts that are from Jane's Agenda. These inserts are amazing. I'm not sure if they're still on the site, but they have um, like hours of sleep, your quality, mood, energy, activity, quality of food, vitamins. And then I decided to like go the extra mile and chart some other things down, but for the most part i'm loving these and these are also the cloth and paper daily gratitude log i filled it out for the entire month of january i'm really 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 loving this idea so i'm gonna continue to keep that up now guys i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna cue in some music one thing i did think about doing is potentially bringing back my diy daily spreads i used to do back in the day and using those spreads to kind of help me in my life on my days off. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, let me show y'all what I'm using. That's what I didn't show y'all, okay? Let me, like, show y'all what the heck I'm using. So, for this plan with me, I am using products for my stash. So, a few stickers here from According to Alley, Planning City. Um, I pull this sticker book right before valentine's day it's a wrong wrong self-love sticker book this sticker book is super duper cute i pulled this one and then i also pulled to create with brie sticker books i absolutely love her books i pulled iconic and blush tones so i'm going to use all of these in addition like in conjunction or something with each other i will be doing a voiceover and the topic that I think I'm going to talk about this week is the power of continuing your journey. I don't know. We'll think about it. But I'm going to go ahead and pull these off the disc and we're going to get this plan with me started. Hey, peeps. So I am back this week with another plan with me. Hoo child, y'all. Let me just tell y'all FOMO is real. 
And for those of you that do not know what FOMO means, that means the fear of missing out. Um, lately, guys, as you may or may not know, I have been using my stash and it's getting kind of hard, y'all. There are a lot of shops that are releasing tons of new things. I'm feeling like I am not in, <laughs> but honestly, we don't necessarily have to be in. Um, perfect example in October, my wife Jasmine gifted me a podcasting set that I haven't set up yet, but stay tuned for that, y'all. And she basically was like, you know, sometimes we heal by sharing our stories with others. So today, as you guys watch me plan using products from my stash, I'm just going to chit chat with y'all. We just going to talk and we're just going to try to connect on this level. So there are so many times when we find different things in life that we love, we indulge in those things, and then we find ourselves <laughs> what I'm trying to say, we find ourselves at a crossroad. Let's put it that way. And, you know, we have that fear that we are not doing what it is we're supposed to do. We feel stuck. You know, we feel a lot of things. And then ultimately, we feel like we just need to stop. Well, I'm here to tell y'all and to share there is power in continuing the journey. Now, I have seen this manifest on many levels from financial levels to career levels. And lately, one of my biggest challenges has been, you know, being, I hate this word, but I mean, this is the word, being a content creator. Um, for me, for years, I titled myself a blogger. That's still kind of how I title myself. I don't, you know, say that I'm an expert in anything. Um, I'm not even an expert in nursing as of yet. Like, yes, I've been five years into nursing, but I'm still not an expert, you know? So I share all that to say, you know, a lot of us are into content creation, something inspired and sparked us to do this. And we get so caught up in the numbers, we get so caught up in the trends to where sometimes we lose our authenticity. And y'all know how I feel about authenticity. Like y'all know authentic is my word. Like if anything, I strive to be authentic in every single thing that I do on the Crystalina Perspective. Heck, every single thing that I do in life, even, you know, in my real life career, I don't want to say real life because I don't have a fake life off of social media. What you guys see on social media is exactly who I am off of social media. But, you know, I practice authenticity in every single thing that I do because I have value in that. And so when I started my I guess content creation journey. I guess that's the word that we're using in this day and time. I legit started it because I didn't see a lot of people like me that did hair and makeup content. And YouTube reminded me, y'all, I don't know if y'all get those Google reminders. Like if you have a Google email account and maybe you uploaded a photo or something to your Google cloud, whatever the case may be, but Google be reminding you and you'll be like, whoa. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely head over to Instagram and follow the Crystalina Perspective because on Instagram this week, I'm going to share with you guys some old, old stuff. Um, I started the Crystalina Perspective because I wanted to share my perspective on different things in the world. I'll share my story later, but I grew up poor, you know, I grew up having to not be a part of the crowd i grew up not having things but something i will you know never say that i'm ashamed of is how i grew up how i grew up shaped me to be who i am and so when i started the perspective when i started this content journey i started it because i wanted to share with others and i wanted to expose myself to things that i would not get exposed to growing up you know on the west side of detroit and you know eventually moving to edwards mississippi there were things i was not exposed to so i challenged myself to be exposed to different things so that I could understand a variety of perspectives and not just where I was from. 
because you're always going to be a product of where you're from, but you don't have to dwell in that. So that's why I started the perspective and YouTube had a way of snatching me up y'all over the course of this past week and showing me like, girl, this is where you started. You have to continue the journey if this is what you desire. And nobody ever said the journey, whatever that is you guys aspire to be or do, nobody said it was going to be easy. Not all of us, you know, grew up with money or resources. Like money, money isn't the only thing. Resources in general, you know, support and all of that. So I say all of that to say, guys, in this week, revisit that thing that inspired you to do whatever the crap it is that you decided you wanted to do because there is power in that and there is a reason why you even embarked on that journey in the first place so I embarked on the perspective because I wanted to share my perspective on a variety of things. So there will be tons of different things coming to the YouTube channel, coming to the Instagram, the TikTok, the Pinterest, and don't forget your girl real life have a blog. And my challenge is to write one blog per week. I do have some updated blogs on the website now, but guys, let me just tell you, keep going. You know, you may not have the numbers. You, companies may say you may not have the engagement rate but you have the talent regardless of what other people may say and who knows 30 days from now you could be sitting in a whole different position heck 14 days from now we don't know the future all we can do is remain positive remain authentic to who we are and continue to challenge ourselves and that's exactly what i'm doing over here on the perspective so if you guys like these type of chats, let me know down below in the comments. I am finishing up my plans um, for this week in this particular video. This week, I wanted to get back to self-care. Um, it's 2023. We are entering, you know, the first full week of February. And I haven't truly indulged in any self-care all of 2023. Taking care of yourself is important. You are a vessel, you know, you have to take care of it. That's just like people that get on cruise ships. If they don't take care of their cruise ship, we sinking. And so I am challenging myself this week to end indulge in some self-care y'all um i do have to go to work tuesday through thursday nights but that's okay i'm gonna make it through them three nights if you guys are having to work or whatever you guys are gonna make it through that but just know there are more chats coming because your girl got a lot to say y'all i have a lot to say i have been feeling very discouraged but when i saw that google reminder i just had to come share the message i got behind that because i felt like it was powerful i felt like it would be something that somebody needs to hear somewhere and like i said i'm gonna echo it again if you don't have the numbers it's okay keep going keep posting keep sharing keep doing what you love if you love making youtube videos if you love doing instagram reels tiktoks whatever the case may be do it for you because at the end of the day you can't always rely on people you know you have to go out there and secure things on your own and sometimes brand deals and all of that may not necessarily be in the power of how many numbers and stuff that you have so i just challenge you guys to just indulge in some self-care this week keep going use y'all stashes when i tell y'all the fomo is hitting me ah, the fomo is hitting me y'all there are a few shops I do want to support because it is Black History Month and you all y'all know I always shop small. You always got to shop black too. I don't shop black just during Black History Month. This is something that I do on the regular. So I already purchased something from Be Rooted. I shared it over on Instagram. I think I'm gonna do a more in-depth share. Um, but I just want you guys to just continue to challenge yourself, continue to love on yourself. Thank y'all so much for supporting me and my brand. For every person that watched this video that gives me a like that comments, thank you so, so much. I try my best to get back and, you know, re um, reply to comments and stuff like that. But thank y'all so, so much. So... I'm going to go ahead and hop off this voiceover, but y'all have a dope week. Happy Monday, happy vibes, and once again, thank y'all so much for all of the love.